Anamorphic lenses squeeze the image horizontally, projecting a wider field of view onto the sensor. That image then needs to be de-squeezed in post, which is what gives you that unique anamorphic look. This technique is used in many high-end productions, and select Lumix cameras have the tools needed to work with anamorphic lenses. To set your camera to shoot anamorphic, there are a few things you need to do. The first thing you have to do is determine the squeeze ratio of your lens. If you're unsure what that is, then check with your manufacturer. This lens is an Atlas Orion 32mm, and it is a 2x squeeze. The next thing you need to do is decide what your final output ratio is going to be. Now, this can be determined by a variety of factors, and depending on the squeeze ratio that you're working with, there could be a variety of settings to get what you want. So on screen right now is a list of common settings. Feel free to pause the video and grab a screenshot of this to reference later. Since this is a 2x squeeze lens, I have a few different ways that I can set this up. Let's go into the camera menus and I'll show you how to do it, and along the way I'm going to show you a few things that you don't want to do. Start by going into the video mode, and then to the image format menu and record quality. From here, you can choose any standard record quality that you would. If you're shooting anamorphic, chances are you're gonna be shooting in 4K 24P, but in this case, I'm gonna actually be shooting in 4K 30 because that matches the frame rate of this production. With the camera set to 4K 30, that's all I need to do. I can go ahead and release that. We can take a look at the image. Now, at this point, you're actually looking at something that was shot earlier. I shot this outside of the studio so that I can mix and match and show you what this would look like in a real world scenario. So this is the first step in setting it up. At this point, you can see that the image is totally distorted and not showing you what you wanna see. So the next step is to de-squeeze the image in camera so that what we see on the back of the camera looks realistic. To do that, navigate to the gear menu, then to the monitor display, and finally to anamorphic de-squeeze. From here, you choose the de-squeeze ratio of your lens. And once again, I'm shooting with a 2x de-squeeze, so I'll use that. Now we're seeing the proper de-squeezed image. And as you can see, there's a couple things going on here. First of all, we're seeing severe vignetting around the sides of the image. That's because this lens is not designed for a full frame sensor. It's actually designed for a Super 35 sensor, which on a camera like this would be set to APS-C. So that's the first thing we're gonna have to fix. Second, this is an extremely wide image, much wider than you would normally use, and if you were going to deliver something that looked more cinematic, odds are you'd end up cropping a lot of this image off. So we're gonna fix both of those things. To start, I'll go back into the menu, go back to the video menu, and then change image area of video from full to APS-C. Now we're no longer seeing the vignetting down the sides of the frame. We're now using the full field of view of the lens. However, this is still overly wide. So to fix that, instead of shooting in a 16 by nine aspect ratio and then de-squeezing that, we can actually shoot in a four by three aspect ratio, gaining more vertical resolution and then de-squeezing that. So to change that, we'll go into the anamorphic menu. Now, depending on your camera, you may find it in a separate menu like you do here on the S5 or in a camera like the S1H, you'll find it built in with the other video modes. From here, I have four different 4K anamorphic options to choose from. There's 3328 by 2496 at 2398. And I'd like to point out that this is going to be de-squeezed by two. So that's actually gonna to double to over 6,600 pixels wide. That was a 4208 bit mode. We can shoot in the same resolution at 422 10-bit, or we can shoot at 2997 in 4208 bit or 422 10-bit. I'm gonna leave it here. So now we have an image that looks closer to CinemaScope. You've gained that extra vertical resolution and the final output quality is gonna be that much better. There's one more thing that we need to change though in the settings, and that has to do with image stabilization. If you leave the image stabilization on on the default settings, then the stabilizer that is used for standard lenses will make your anamorphic lenses look a little bit wobbly. So we wanna change that. To do that, go back into the menu, and again, under the video menu, navigate to the bottom where it shows image stabilizer. From here, you'll see that there is an anamorphic video stabilizer. Turn that on, once again, to the specific squeeze ratio of your lens, in my case, two. You'll also wanna make sure that your focal length is set correctly. This is a 32 millimeter lens, so it's already set for that. Finally, if you wanna disable stabilization entirely, of course, you can do that as well. Just go up here and set stabilization to off. And now, you're ready to shoot with an anamorphic lens on your Lumix camera. Panasonic.